Most nights, you can find B.J. Richardson down in his workshop. He builds, paints, just tinkers in general. The end result? A souped up model car. A hot rod for the car crazy. B.J. is a slot car racer. It's just a few hours before a race. Time to test and tune. Slot car racing. Drag racing in miniature style. Popular in the 1950s and 60s, BJ raced as a kid. Five years ago, he rediscovered the sport at Fast Tracks, a model car store with its very own track. It was love all over again. Oh, I'm into cars. Cars, I've been into cars since I was a baby. And anything that had a motor and would go by itself back then was awesome. Technology back then you know, cars that went by, the toy cars that went by themselves with motors was cool. If they went by themselves on a track, you know, that was the hot thing back then. You know, when I first came in here, I said, yeah, I'll get a couple of cars and play with it a little bit and see how I like it. Well, I think I'm up to 70 cars now and I'm always building more. Everyone comes early for testing and tuning, checking the track, making sure the conditions are right, seeing how she drives. About 40 people, 94 cars between them, will race down the drag strip. Any car, any model, any level of experience. Two racers go at a time, the winner moves on to the next round, the loser is out. But depending on how many cars somebody races, they may not be out for good. It'll come down to two final racers, where the winner gets a plaque, but more importantly, bragging rights. You're talking a full evening of racing, hours spent waiting your turn for really just a couple of minutes at a time. What in the world makes grown men want to do this? Uh, I think it's the competitiveness. You'll get down to a couple of cars and you know there'll be a hush across the crowd and you know there's records about to be broken and you know people are trying to sack each other out on the line. A lot of chatter in the back, um, and there's a lot of aspects of it. You know, it's not just setting your car on the track and pulling the trigger. Seven o'clock on the dot, Calvin Starcher, owner of Fast Tracks, starts the races. Calvin owns the only slot car race track in Southern Maryland. It brings in racers from all over Maryland and Virginia, just as he expected. This was my field of dreams. It was my thing that I kept telling myself, if I build it, they will come. There is a disease that a lot of young kids, adult kids, men get that their grandparents and grandfathers and grandmothers gave them when they were one or two years old. They're called Hot Wheels cars. That starts the feed and the need for speed. And, you know, it's just the car general, car guy crazy. Six years later, fanatics like BJ take to the track twice a week. Tough crowd today. You've got Nicole Gates, the only girl here, with a car that's won seven races in a row. You've got little Thomas, five years old, but quickly learning the ropes. And BJ, Mr. Record Breaker himself. I never thought that I would get into this zone that everybody talks about. Um, going up and staging the car, getting it ready. Um, it's the adrenaline. It's the nervousness, um, and then you get into a zone, and you know, it's like being the car, being the controller, being the track, um, it all falls into play, and, and that's what it's all about for me. You know, the board over there that's got all the records on it, I like having my name up there like everybody does. For the record, I don't cheat. Three hours in, they're not even through the first round. No one cares. They trade tips and insults in their downtime. That actual, you know, one second that it takes to make that pass down the track on slot cars, you know, it, we're not friends at that moment. We're competitors. And, you know, the competition is what drives people to do this. People that get into it now get to be like the people who have been in it for years. So the competitive edge is always there. Uh, camaraderie. Just the fun hasn't changed. The race concludes around midnight. Two of BJ's cars wrecked. He finished just below the top eight. Not his best night, but there's always next week. A word of advice to first timers, don't you dare 
call slot car racing geeky. Geeky? No, absolutely not. <laughs> we don't sit around and talk about physics. Do you see a pocket protector? No. Some people might say videoing people is geeky. You've been warned. Oh, that was a lot I know. <laughs>